I'm Mo Rocca, and I'm excited to announce season four of my podcast, Mobituaries. I've got a whole new bunch of stories to share with you about the most fascinating people and things who are no longer with us. From famous figures who died on the very same day to the things I wish would die, like buffets, all that and much more. Listen to Mobituaries with Mo Rocca wherever you get your podcasts. Twas the first night home for the holidays and all through your town, not one thumb was quiet. A lot of swiping going down. You created the perfect Bumble profile with care in hopes that your dream guy or gal may be out there. When what to your wandering eyes should appear but a ton of faces you haven't seen in years. There's a rando from high school, your ex from eighth grade, a kid you used to babysit, and your literal Uncle Dave. As cringe as this feels, the only thing worse would be if one of them stumbled upon your profile first. But there's no need to panic or erase your face from the app. You can go incognito with one simple tap. Disappear from the others till you say they're a match and have more fun finding your next hometown catch. With peace of mind and your profile hidden from sight, happy holidating to all and to all a good night. Happy holidating with incognito mode from Bumble. Download today. This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 2011, How Focusing on the Bigger Picture Can Help Your Relationship, by Dr. Lisa Firestone of psychalive.org. Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for joining once again on the podcast that is all about helping you learn about and improve your relationships each day, Optimal Relationships Daily. I'm your host and narrator, Greg Audino, and in this episode, I've got another post for you from psychalive.org, who have become such a wonderful contributor for us this past year or so. And with that, let's get the ball rolling as we listen to this post about focusing on the big picture of your relationship and start optimizing your life. How Focusing on the Bigger Picture Can Help Your Relationship by Dr. Lisa Firestone of psychalive.org Every relationship has its ups and downs. For many couples, these dips can occur on a daily basis. From morning to night, our interactions with our partner can range from loving and romantic to irritable and cynical. While it's natural for our feelings to shift in response to different circumstances, it can be frustrating to hit road bumps with our partner that, in hindsight, seem unnecessary or irrational. When we're with someone we love and value, it's worth questioning how we can do work within ourselves that can help us not be so heated or reactive. One effective approach to this pursuit is to focus on the big picture. The downside of being so close to someone else is that we can lose sight of them as a separate person. We can take them for granted, focus in on the negative, and start to see and treat them in ways that denigrate them and diminish the relationship. No relationship or partner is perfect, and each and every one of us carries a certain number of defenses and adaptations that don't always serve us. Getting bogged down or having a big reaction in a moment of frustration is rarely the best way to resolve issues, communicate, or make things better. Here are three things to keep in mind to help you think big and keep things close between you and your partner. Think about your goals. So many conflicts within couples center on one person needing to be seen as right. Yet every one of us is an autonomous individual with our own point of view. We may get so zoned in on how we're feeling in a conversation and what we want to say that we aren't even hearing the other person. We may notice that we meet everything our partner says with, yeah, but, as in, yeah, but I do so much around the house. How can you complain? Or, yeah, but I'm always doing nice things for you. How could you feel ignored? In general, we can be so focused on winning the argument that we forget the goal of the discussion. When we operate like this, the best case scenario is that we win the battle, but we lose the war. If we really want our partner to hear what we're saying or to feel closer to them, then we have to keep those goals in mind, even in moments of frustration. This means having patience, remembering they are a separate person with their own point of view, and hearing them out. When we take this time and reflect that we're listening and we care, our partner is much more likely to reciprocate 
and the outcome will be much more positive and impactful. Stay grateful. In a given day with our partner, we may be inclined to zero in on one little thing that irritates us, rather than taking notice of the ten nice things they did for us. We may get stuck on thoughts like, she forgot to pick up the mail again, she never listens to me or cares about what I ask, or I can't believe he wants to stay in tonight, he isn't excited to go out with me anymore. Once again, no one is perfect, and we can be in different places in a given moment. It's important not to assume everything is about us or a reflection on how our partner regards us in general. A helpful way to remember this is to think about what we're grateful for in relation to our partner. Maybe they made us coffee in the morning before they left for work. Maybe they were really affectionate or acknowledging. Maybe they held the door or offered to pick up the kids or folded our laundry or asked us about our day. Whatever it is, we have to keep our eyes open to the kindnesses and considerations that come our way. This can also help us have a little more insight or empathy into what they're going through. Maybe they forgot the mail because they've been extra stressed or under pressure in other areas. Maybe they don't want to go out because they're feeling down or low energy because of something they're struggling with. Staying grateful puts us in touch with our compassion, and it makes us happier in ourselves in general. Don't over-identify with your reactions. I recently wrote about flipped lid moments, when we have big reactions where the higher functions of our brain that help us balance and regulate our emotions temporarily go offline. We may tend to experience a lot of these moments with our partner. That's because we are much more likely to get triggered by those closest to us. A lot of our most intense reactions have more to do with our past than our present. These almost automatic responses can be triggered or intensified by an old feeling or implicit memory. We most likely are not aware of it, but a certain word our partner used to describe us or a look they gave us can tap into a deep-seated feeling of insecurity and set off our self-attacks. Because these intense reactions aren't always proportional to the situation, it's helpful to use mindfulness skills to take pause. For example, taking a walk or taking a breath and stepping back until we're calm. Remember, all our thoughts and feelings are acceptable, but they aren't necessarily right. We can allow each thought to pass by or any feeling to wash over us, but we don't need to get carried away building a huge case against our partner, or assigning deep meaning to every little thing. Instead, we can step back and wait to reconnect to that bigger picture. We may find something hurt us that we want to communicate about, or that we're angry about something valid, but we can choose how we want to express these feelings, rather than being a slave to them by being impulsive, lashing out, etc. It may sound oversimplistic, but it's surprising how reminding ourselves to see the bigger picture can help us act with more integrity and do more justice to our relationships. This isn't about whitewashing everything or seeing our partner through fantastical rose-colored glasses. It's about staying in tune to what we want and being honest about what we observe. It's not about allowing our momentary reactions or old patterns to dictate the course of our relationship, but rather giving ourselves the time and space to see things more authentically. We can reflect on what we love about our partner, the type of relationship we want to nurture, and who we want to be in our relationship. Keeping our focus on our goals and the bigger picture allows us to create a more loving relationship. You just listened to the post titled, How Focusing on the Bigger Picture Can Help Your Relationship by Dr. Lisa Firestone of psychalive.org. Twas the first night home for the holidays and all through your town, not one thumb was quiet, a lot of swiping going down. You created the perfect Bumble profile with care in hopes that your dream guy or gal may be out there when what to your wandering eyes should appear but a ton of faces you haven't seen in years. There's a rando from high school, your ex from 8th grade, a kid you used to babysit, and your literal Uncle Dave. As cringe as this feels, the only thing worse would be if one of them stumbled upon your profile first. But there's no need to panic or erase your face from the app. You can go incognito with one simple tap. Disappear from the others till you say they're a match. 
and have more fun finding your next hometown catch. With peace of mind and your profile hidden from sight, happy holidating to all and to all a good night. Happy holidating with incognito mode from Bumble. Download today. There's a lot of distraction this time of year, but I'm here to tell you that you can end the year right and train your brain with Word Collect. Word Collect is a fun and relaxing mobile game to help keep your mind sharp and grow your vocabulary to pass the time, whether you're waiting to meet Santa or in line at the airport. It has over 2,000 levels, which start easy, but get harder as you get better, and new features have just been added for the holiday season, including new limited-time competitive events, so there has never been a better time to start playing. And right now, Word Collect is offering you 2,500 coins and 500 gems for free when you download and play. And those extra coins and gems definitely come in handy. They help keep you playing when you get stuck. And take it from me, the last thing you will want to do is stop playing. So stop mindlessly scrolling through social media and train your brain while relaxing. Just go to the Apple or Google store and search for Word Collect. So if you're like me and want to end 2023 with a bang, download Word Collect for free today. And thank you so much to Dr. Lisa for this post and helping us to see beyond the daily skirmishes we might find ourselves in with our partners or anyone else. A post like this is so helpful uh, when it comes to encouraging us to hit that reset button and see our partners and relationships more objectively, for better or worse. And that being said, I think it's an important read to take into consideration even if you don't argue much with your partner. You know, maybe there's too little conflict. Maybe things are being pushed under the rug too often. One or both partners aren't allowing themselves to be heard. Maybe one or both partners aren't being challenged so much as they're being enabled. These types of dynamics can also be harmful in relationships. Yet because they are not so explosive or so offensive, they're much more difficult to see. Unless, of course, we do preoccupy ourselves with that bigger picture. So don't sleep on this article, folks. But with that, we have reached the end for today, everyone. So I thank you so much for tuning in today and doing right by your relationships by doing so. I hope you're having a great holiday week and that you'll stop in again tomorrow for more ORD. That's where your optimal life awaits.